Welcome back everybody to Nicky Ballon and to Space Engineers. First of all, I have to say thank you for over 740 subscribers. I haven't mentioned it in the last videos, but it's really incredible for, incredible for me that you're watching my content. I mean, still, I have started in, four, in three, four months ago that series in Space Engineers, and I will also continue it with, uh, for the future. They will come also maybe, I mean, I have now spaceships, vehicles, and there will also be a third coming up somewhere in the future with bases. Um, it's, it's just incredible that you are still sticking around and leaving comments, liking the videos, or just enjoying the content. It's really glad for me that you are still uh, around. Um, yeah, uh, maybe I will also make a Q&A video for the future, so... If you have some uh, questions, you can leave it also down in the, disc, uh, in the description, down in the comments. Um, anyway, let's go to the video. The, tray, the ship is called CAS Class Assault Carrier, and it's created by Mr. Even312. So, let's passing by by that ship. So, here we have it. Slowly, it's crawling a, uh, about... So, well, I'm gonna show you first of all the outside, then the inside, and on the end, we are gonna crash it. So, to the design of the ship, um, it looks interesting. I haven't seen such a design before. It looks great, and it has also many, many mods on it, but I don't care really about the mods. I have installed it all. I hope they are all installed. I'm, I just tested it before and I think everything is working fine. Well, let's see. Maybe there can also be a little bit of a lag in the re-entry, but I don't know. Well, I'm gonna fly around. I have turned on my lights so you can see everything a little bit better. It's a really massive ship. Um, but on the front, there is not the bridge. The bridge is in the middle. This is just an end, not really empty room. It's just pretty much empty in the front of here. Uh, just some connection for the turrets. Well, down here we have a hangar, just with some mods, like a, a gravity field. Uh, not gravity field, just a force field uh, for the hangar. So no hangar doors. Down we have also some thrusters. Well, overall, it looks really amazing. Really. It's, yeah, it's really... And I can't only... Man, um, I mean, I can imagine how much time it would take to build it. Incredible. In that size. Really, really nice. I'm uh, just gonna fly now so through here. Well, and this is just the outside of the ship, and now I'm gonna show you the inside of the ship. Well, now we are in the hangar. So I'm just gonna fly around, show you that hangar here. It looks great. So here we have just all the little floors around here. You can also walk around here. And on the back here we have just some stairs, or better to say some slopes, where you can go up and down. Well, this is it. Yeah, this is pretty much the hangar. It looks great and it's also really, really massive. On the side up here we can go a little bit and then there is a little bit of a slope so we can go up into the ship. We are now in the ship. So I'm just gonna continue on. On the right side we have a medical bay with just a cargo container and a green light. On the left side we have the engine room of that massive ship with some also with some cargo containers and the refineries also stored here in the back just a little screen in the middle as you can see it looks great also here on the back just gonna jump down here on the back we have just um a medical bay i think also here and on the other side yes on the back we have just a room for the gravity generator also in the reactor re room we have here the massive reactor and a jump drive looks absolutely stunning i mean there are, there are mods installed but it looks very very awesome on the other side we can go to the bridge and what i also like are the corridors in that ship oh, it's a nice design so here we have now the main bridge so we can go up here just there's the main control seat and also the captain's seat 
Well, it looks great. In the middle, we have just a little light with some holograms, maybe. Nothing is on yet. On the sides, we have just some uh, servers and more controls for the crew. Well, and this is now all of it. There are no more rooms or such, just for that purpose. Well, and I'm now gonna fly the ship directly to the planet and crash it. The heat is now rising on the outskirts of the really, really massive ship, and any moment there will be fire. Well, I need to go out of it. I hope there is no lag, but I don't know. And I think the ship is repairing itself. As you can see, there's just a mod installed where the ship is repairing itself. So, well, let's see how well it, that is gonna be in the impact down there. So, the impact will be in any moment. So, let's see. Ooh, I think we are losing some parts. It looks like it, yes. And there is now the impact. So, a little bit more. Ooh, this doesn't look or uh, sound that good. I can't really see it. Uh, we have made just a little bit of a hole in the front. And we are still on fire and the frame rate is completely dropping down. Ooh, now we are hitting on the side. And I think it's rolling on to the back. Or it looks like it. Ooh, again, nice impact and it should come down to a still stand in any moment. We have again a massive leg spike. So it's still not crashing my game, I hope, at least. And now... Ooh, the top is getting damaged slowly, I think, on the own weight of the ship. I hope it will stand still in any moment, so... I can't see a thing at the moment because the chip is just too massive. It's really, really massive, so I can't really... Uh, I don't really know where I should go with my camera. Maybe I'm gonna go out of the seat. Let's see. And I'm gonna go with the fastest way. I'm gonna drill me a hole out. Um, so I'm just gonna go like that. Yes. Sorry for that, but this is just the fastest way I need to go out. So, come on, I need to squeeze me through here. Thank you. Ooh, still getting damaged. I need to turn that on. So, let's see what the damage is from that massive impact. Well, we have just a little bit of this... Uh, let's see, we have here... Uh, I think the energy is down, or somehow... Um, well, so let's see. Um, here's just a little bit of damage. Also here we have ripped a little bit open. Nothing too much for such a really massive ship. Down here we have just a little bit of damage, I think, from the impact. Some are here on the back. Well, let's see again. I mean, on the back there's not that much damage. In the front should be the most of the damage. Let's see. Um, just gonna fly a little bit around. Oh yes, I mean, after all, it's still intact. So here is the massive impact. As you can see, there's nothing really inside, just some connections for the uh, turrets. But overall, it was a nice impact. And also we have left a crater here. Uh, just a little bit of a crater. Or this isn't really the crater. I think this is the crater here. Yes, we are just a little bit of parts laying around. But overall, it does look great and the frames are still dropping down. Anyway, I'm gonna see you now in a moment where I'm gonna throw the chip down the mountain. And if this is not working, then I'm gonna see you in space. I'm now on the mountain and I let now that massive ship fall. First of all, I'm gonna spawn it in. So now it's falling. I'm just gonna chase it down. Slowly, now there will be the first impact on the side a little bit. Ooh, nice impact. Ooh, this doesn't look that good and it's just a little bit of jumping around. I hope it's getting all the way down and it's not stopping because it's relatively wide and every time I'm gonna send here down a wide chip, it's difficult that it's completely rolling down the mountain. Oh, there's now a massive impact. Let's just throw out that ship a little impact. 
Well, now there is the side again. Wow. Looks great, but it's stopping all of the momentum that the ship has at the moment. And down there, there is coming up a flat uh, area of that cliff side. Ooh. It's still rolling and we are still getting damaged. Just some little holes down there. And some other parts flying off of that ship. Let's see. I mean, for that ship, just small damage. Ooh, now we have again a little bit of a lag here and there. But overall, it looks great. Now it's not a side, it's relatively high damaged. Ooh, and let's see if the other side is also getting more damaged than before. Yes, and it's rolling further and further. Now this is the last steep part for the cliff, and we are also relatively near the end of the cliff. It's also in slow motion flying down, I think. Mm. Also, we again on the side a little bit of damage. So the hangar is not damaged at all, just here a little bit. Maybe it's damaged. I need to look that up later on. But overall, it's holding very well together. Wow, that was a great impact. Maybe this is one impact that is completely go into the ship. Don't know. Actually, it looks like it. I'm now in the corridor there. And also there will be now again a new impact into the front. Also we are near the end. Ooh, just a little bit of damage. But what I like is there is no bounce at all with the chip. All of the parts are getting damaged. So yes, we have here some holes that are getting into the ship. So let's wait a little bit more. Ooh, this is a hard impact there. So, oh, there are just some trees falling off. So, let's see, I'm just gonna go to the front a little bit more. I think there will be the next impact. Yes, just a little bit of an impact. Also now, again on the sides, down there we have just no damage at all. The most of the damage we have on the front and on the sides and a little bit of on, on the back. Hmm. Oh, that sound is incredibly nice. So now we are landing on. It's landing completely upside down. Maybe there will be also now the stop of the chip. So that side is now also damaged. Heavy damage. I mean, there are no wings on that side anymore. And also, we have ripped here open completely inside of the ship. Wow. Just gonna go in and just gonna rotate me around so we can see all of the corridors. And yes, there's no power at all, but every time I'm gonna throw something down, there's no power at all in the ships. So, well, here it doesn't look that damaged. No, just everything is going red. But here we have just one major impact. Also, looking around on the front, we have here just completely ripped open the parts. On that side here, also a little bit of a damage, but nothing really to worry about. On the back, oh, just a little bit, but overall held nice together here. We lost uh, just some engines. Anyway, I'm gonna end my video here, so if you want to download that absolutely massive ship for yourself, you can do that. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Also for the re-entry mod and the speed mod. So... Leave a like if you want, subscribe to me or leave a comment. That will help me and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Goodbye!